Hey guys, Freddy with Poor Man Mods here. Sinkwire reached out to me and asked me if I would test and review their new compact tire inflator. And I've done a little bit of testing with it. And honestly, I am very, very impressed with it. So much so that I absolutely wanted to share it with you guys. But honestly, a tire inflator, something like this, is seriously something that everyone should have in their car. It is an absolute no brainer. So I've had a couple of tire inflators myself over the years. You know, some of them had to plug into the cigarette outlet. Some of them looked like a drill and they were pretty big and bulky. This one is extremely compact, so compact that it seriously blew me away. I mean, you can put this in a cup holder, you can put this in the glove box. In this Mercedes behind me, it fits in the door pocket. There's pretty much no reason why you shouldn't have one of these in your cars, especially for the price. It sure as heck beats a tow truck bill or jacking the car up and taking the wheel off and lugging it to a gas station to put air in it. For the price and for the size, you really can't beat this. And I wanna show you some of the features and then I'll show you how long it takes to totally inflate a typical car tire like this. So here's the device. Once again, very, very small and compact. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And it does have a very nice, bright and easy to read LED screen here. And it does have a few modes pre-programmed to make things a little bit easier. So we're on the car mode, so it's preset to 36 PSI. Motorcycle, then bicycle and then like a basketball, and then this is a custom preset that you can make. Of course, it comes with the hose to attach to a typical valve stem, but when you get down to like the sports ball, it comes with the needle and a couple other attachments as well. Another nice feature right here, it does have a flashlight and also a red strobe right there. So in case you're on the side of the road at night, this will make it a little bit safer for you. It does come with a nice little carry bag that you can throw everything in and then throw this in your glove box or wherever you're gonna store it. To attach the hose, it's very simple. It does have this like rubber end and it's designed to only let you apply the right amount of torque to this so you can't over torque it and get it stuck. So it's very easy to put on, very easy to remove and it's not gonna let you over tighten it. And you can take this end, this would typically go to like the valve stem on your car, but you can thread it on this side so you can keep it like that. And then it also doubles as a carrying handle. Of course, being a modern device, it is chargeable via USB-C, which is really nice. But this also doubles as a power bank. So it does have a USB out right here also. So you can use this to charge your phone or whatever USB device that might need some power. So this awesome compact little guy is a tire inflator, a flashlight, a strobe, and a power bank. How cool is that? So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to that deflated tire on my car and see how long it takes to inflate it. So it took about eight minutes and 45 seconds to get this tire from five and a half PSI to 36 PSI, which it does seem like quite a while, but in an emergency situation on the side of the road, you know, nine minutes really isn't a big deal. But I would have to say, if you're gonna use this for like autocross or other motorsport events or off-roading, this probably isn't the tire inflator for you, being that it's not that quick. This is definitely more for roadside emergency situations, not for regular tire inflating use. All right, got the tire inflated. Now, it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it is a heck of a lot faster than waiting for a tow truck. And it's a heck of a lot faster than jacking the car up, taking the wheel off, taking it somewhere to put air in it, and then bringing it back. But chances are, if your tire did go flat, it probably went flat for a reason. And you know, that's most likely because of a puncture. So I would recommend if you're gonna get a tire pump like this, it would also be wise to get a plug repair kit like this and keep both of them in your car. Having a tire plug kit like this and a tire pump seriously is so much better than waiting for a tow truck or waiting for someone to come scoop your butt off the road and take your tire to a gas station. So I couldn't recommend this enough, especially for the price of this and how compact it is. If you are interested in this Syncwire tire pump, I will have a link in the description down below for it. And also to a tire plug kit. Both of these can really, really save your butt when you get into a pinch. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.